Grandma on a Windy Beach by Jade Maitre Before my parents were born, Grandma was a fresh, pretty girl in a linen skirt, smiling on the beach, her hair flying in the wind. She wore red lipstick and blush. Her legs were brown with sun. She sang like a bird, opera songs, and her voice made people stop what they were doing to listen. Her voice made people happy. If I listen hard, I can imagine it now, in the way she calls me for a cuddle. Grandma's voice is softer now. It is husky, like wispy bark. It is slower now, like a lazy river. I have to listen hard and be patient as she finds the words for things. But it is worth waiting, because each word has lived so much more than mine. I like to cuddle my grandma. Her skin is softer than transparent paper, and she is folded up in cotton pyjamas, still fresh and pretty, smelling of rose soap and warm things. Can you imagine what my grandma's eyes have seen? Houses pop up in the empty blocks, trees grow, flowers bloom every spring. The seasons flit past like the wings of a fan. It is hot, warm, cold. Here we wear rain boots, and here we wash cars in a smoky summer sunset. The smell of barbecues in the air. Grandma sees her own strong brown arms as she walks down the front step, beating eggs in a bowl. When Grandma held my mother in the cotton blanket, and whispered how much she was loved. Those eyes saw my mother's first smile, sidelong at first, then wide and joyful, as my baby mother realised her own power. Grandma has seen babies grow into children and children into adults, and friends grow into parents and grandparents. But those eyes that have seen so much are filled with so many bright things that things sometimes seem milky to her now. When I snuggle beneath Grandma's arm in the bed, I show her the picture I painted at school. Turn the light on, she says, and takes out her glasses. That helps her see a little bit like she did before. Grandma's ears have heard so many things I can't imagine. She has heard the shouts of laughter of children 70 years ago. She has heard things on the radio that I've only read in history books. She has heard happy birthday sung in a chorus of voices by everyone that she knows at almost every age they've ever been, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. When I tell Grandma what I did on the weekend, I have to speak up. Talk nice and loud, she says. Come close to my good ear. And when I tell her the funny joke I heard on the bus, her eyes grow wide, and then she bursts into laughter. I love to hear Grandma laughing. That is something that people carry their whole life through. When she laughs, I hear the warm, hearty chortle, then the way she lets it fade away, as though it might come back at any moment. When Grandma was my age, she used to run, she would win races on her fast legs. Now she uses a walking frame because her hips have carried babies and her back has hauled children's school bags and buckets of oranges to make into marmalade. Now, when Grandma walks on the sunny street, I walk beside her. I hold my arm out so that I can steady the frame and so that she can lean on me if she likes. We walk very slowly, but it is so nice that way. We see every little bird that hops across our path. We see caterpillars on the concrete and clouds scudding over the sky. Grandma thinks they look like mountains, and I see a big white rabbit. I sometimes wish that Grandma and I were the same age. What would we do together if her legs were fast and her eyes sharp and her voice breathlessly told me stories about her own day at school? I imagine we would climb trees as high as we could go and look out over the tops of all the houses and talk about everything we wanted to do when we were older and imagine what it would be like to be a bird. I think we would look at the clouds and I would see a castle and she would see an aquarium filled with thousands of different fishes. But even though we can't climb trees, I can still tell her stories and she can imagine the things that I see in her mind. Because our minds love being together and in both of our minds, she's that same fresh pretty girl on the windy beach and always will be. The End Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.